Okay, John, thanks for joining us. Let's start with Saturday just by there. You obviously got your first goal for the club. That must have been pleasing and uh, it was a really tough match though, wasn't it? Yeah, as you said, yeah, it's a tough match. You always know when you're up against uh, opponents at Dundee United, it's going to be a tough match. But as you said, the main thing was to come out with not a loss and keeps our run going as well. So, um, yeah, confident, yeah. And playing against players like Willow Flood, who's obviously got lots of experience, played down south, and you know, guys like Scott Fraser and Andrew, it's the, the, they're Premier League players, but playing in the Championship, aren't they? Yeah, I think mainly the players you said there, Willow Flood and Tony Andrew, um, like great players, obviously, they know Willow well. And, He's came down to this level because it's because it's his club uh, first and foremost, and he wants to get them back to where they belong. But um, yeah, as you said, they're, they're good players, and that's only way we're going to get ourselves better as well, playing against good players and big clubs. So and getting your first goal as well, it was uh, obviously from from across and getting up there every header. Is that is that something that the managers try to encourage you to do, get in the box more? Yeah, well, obviously you can see the wee bit of banter that was going on with myself and Sandy. Obviously, Sandy keeps telling me to shoot more, says that I'm. Not selfish enough, says I need to be more selfish, so um, it's encouraging me more to get the ball into the box and, and have a shot. So, um, yeah, that's one, one side of my game that he wants me to shoot more. But as, as people know, I'm, a, I'm an attacking player and that's that's what I like to do. But uh, obviously, the last couple of games is we've been more defensive and sat back. But, um, yeah, my, my type of games are even late in the box and getting some goals. So. Another big game on Saturday against Falkirk. Uh, you've obviously uh, played them against played against them before on Boxing Day. You see what it means to the fans. Do you, are you aware of the rivalry between the two teams? <coughs> before I came here, I wasn't aware whatsoever. No, I always thought it was Rafe Rovers was their was their rivals because of the the destinations and stuff. But then when I came and heard all the stories about uh, Nori and all these kind of things, then you can you can kind of understand where where that rivalry comes from. But um, yeah, obviously I, I wasn't fit that game when we played them at their place and. The atmosphere was excellent. I actually sat in with the fans that day as well. So um, yeah, but as you said, we've played them here before. And but the main the main thing is we've got another big game coming up. And for us now, every next game is big for us. We want to push to where we want to get to. Every game is big, as you said, and we try and pick up another three points. So. And especially if we're focused on the table just ahead of us, and you know if we if we don't come out with three points, it's it's looking difficult for the playoffs. So it's it's a massive game and. Really must get the three points on Saturday. Yeah, as you said, it's a it's a, it's a must win, but at the same time, we don't want to lose. But um, as you said, yeah, for us, we we're going there. We we want to go and win, as we as we approach every game. But um, to get to the playoffs, we feel as in a group, uh, as a manager and all the staff, that it's, it's a must win game, and it's it's something that we're confident in, in going there and getting a, a victory. So um, yeah, we're looking forward to it. And finally, John, just from a personal point of view, you you seem like the sort of player who just really wants to be playing football. You've been down at Blackpool and you, and you came up a sort of last minute deal with the end of the summer transfer window and I get the impression you, you just want to be playing football. <coughs> yeah, well obviously a lot of things a lot of things went on and down there and I was down there was for six months and I was playing every game and I was loving it and then things happened that I'm not allowed, allowed to say. So um, yeah, I come up here and as you say, it was a last minute deal and it's something that I'd done off my own back as well. As people might not know, obviously Dunfermline weren't paying any money to get me. I, I decided to come here, not, not to take a penny off the club, and come here and, and, and play football. As you said, the main, the main thing you want to play football for is not for money or for any, anything else. You, you play it for the love of the game. And when I was down in Blackpool, I was losing, I was losing that love. I was waking up in the mornings and, and not really wanting to go and train at the club and for whatever reason. So the main thing was coming back home with, with my family, where, where all my family live, and being around them every day and coming back and playing football. And, and I've got that back, as I said, my my performances are going to get better. They're going to. I'm. I'm feeling. Sh I'm feeling fitter now as the games go on, and I'm, I'm getting more games under my belt. But as you said, the main thing for me is to play games, especially being at the young age as well. So um, the only way we're going to do that is by playing games here and hopefully push the club back to where they belong, which is higher up the table, and if not even in the SPL. So.